Warning! Gamerboy95, your friend, Super, is highly suspicious. After listening to this story twice, he seems even more so. Here is the original version he told at first. The first thing is, have I ever had the police called on me? Yes, I have. It was only one time. Though. What about the football game? But people don't realize the whole story, so I'm going to explain it now. What had happened was I went to a park and everything. There was a baseball game going on. And I was watching the baseball game, just minding my own business. You know, just, you know, normal, normal beautiful, sunny day. This already sounds creepy. He went to the park, not the baseball game. The game happened to be going on in the park he went to. The details about the day and how he came upon the game sound unnecessary and weird. A couple of kids come over to the table and everything where I'm sitting. Bullshit detected. Watching a game from a table? Children just coming up to a lone 17-year-old? Let's see what other totally non-suspect details he has for us. Mind you, I'm just paying attention to the game. I'm not, you know, I'm not even looking at them. I roll! I'm not even paying attention to them whatsoever. I mean, I'm looking around the area, obviously. Looking everywhere except at the children who are talking to you. Who else does that? Oh, right. Sicko's checking to see if the coast is clear to do something terrible. You know, but, you know, just mind my own business. They, they come over, they start to talk to me. Kids love skittish weirdos. And obviously I'm very skittish and everything when it comes to talking, you know, to them because they're kids that I, that I don't know and everything. I started talking to them about superheroes and everything and stuff and everything else and everything. Stuff and everything else and everything. You know, everything is a pretty broad topic. It's like, you know, everything. You know, just interacting. Interacting is also a very broad term. I started to get, you know... I started to get weary because I had a funny, I had a feeling somebody was going to say something. About the weirdo chatting up kids? I mean, let's face it, I'm a 17 year old kid at that time, talking to, you know, kids, you know? Oh, we know. So, I decided to get up and, and walk away. And I went down a hill and everything, you know, just to look around and see what was, what was going around. You know, maybe, maybe there's, maybe I could find some interesting things down there or something or whatever. The kids decided to follow me. Now we come to the parts that really set off my PDF meter. After becoming wary, by the way, you meant wary, not weary. You decided to go down the hill. In your words, just to see what was going on down there. If you were wary of the kids, why continue down the hill even after telling them to leave? That makes no sense. But it's completely logical next to what you do when the parents catch you. You went to the store for a drink instead of staying and dealing with the angry parents. On their own. Those horrible little vipers. I tell them to go back and everything because I don't want them following me. Because I know the parents would, you know, they would get pissed and everything. And they would sit there and think that I'm trying to do something to them. Well, duh! And I don't want that to happen, obviously. So I tell them to go back. I continue to go down, they continue to follow me. Were you sending mixed signals? So at that point, I'm like, all right, you know, let me try to explain to the parents I mean, what's going on here that they decided to follow me. Obviously, you know, the mother was not, didn't want to listen to it and everything because let's face it, she automatically fought. My bullshit detector almost blew up here. You went to explain to the parents you didn't do anything, the kids followed you, and mom didn't believe you. The only part we believe is that the mom didn't believe you. Well, you know, he's going after my kids and everything, which I'm not, obviously. So I leave. Fled. You fled. We're willing to bet the police were mentioned and you beat feet to get out of there. Moms don't just let sickos walk away. 
And I figure, okay, let me just go to the store. I'll go get, you know, I'll go, I'll go get a drink real quick and everything, i.e. a beverage. You know, soda. Unless you were planning on bringing it back to the pissed off mom. You fled. And I'll, I'll, just, I'll just go home and everything, and I'll, you know, eat dinner and stuff and everything, maybe play video games or something. <laughs> I go to the store, get my drink, come outside. Ah, <laughs> uh, you come outside the store. Yes, once you're done at the store, you leave. We understood the first time. All of a sudden, I get stopped by cops and everything. Saying, oh, we got a call saying that you were molested. Kids. Completely expected plot on twist. And I sit down and I look at him and I'm like, are you serious? Good question. Cops are always playing pranks like this. And now the part where I called him out for changing his story and he lies. No, I left. I left and everything to, to you know, to get away from the situation. And then I went to the store and everything to go buy a soda. And then I sat there and everything. I came outside after I got my soda, and that's when the cops showed up. Just like normal. Oh no, no, it's okay, Jay. I I can understand that when so, Aaron does that. <laughs> so the cops questioned me. Told me what told me what I was being questioned for. And I sat there and everything. I, I explained the whole situation to them. And then they took me home. They told me to say, you know, they told me to stay home and everything until they're ready to talk to me. Yeah. Which I did. You know, obviously I'm not going to go to this cop. Hey. Question me. And then I sat there. I went home. <coughs> so there for a, about a week and everything before they called me in. How are you doing, uh, Chance Wilkins is 30 but looks 14? How are you doing? Hey, how are you doing? <laughs> they called they, like they that, called hey. <laughs> No, Who's the mom, brother? Roboto, Roboto said, the mom never accused me. The mom never accused oh. me. Oh, yes, she did. Remember when you said this? You know, let me try to explain to the parents let me, what's going on here that they decided to follow me. Obviously, you know, the mother was not, didn't want to listen to it and everything because, let's face it, she automatically fought. The mother was not, didn't want to listen to it and everything because, let's face it, she automatically fought. The mother was not, didn't want to listen to it and everything because, let's face it, she automatically fought. And one more time! The mother was not, didn't want to listen to it and everything because, let's face it, she automatically fought. Gamer boy, I am sorry. I really am. This dude seems like a nice enough guy on the surface, but his stories and trouble with children are not just accidental misunderstandings. Not when they happen more than once. If you cannot believe an assassin our assistant bought, please listen to the meatbag known as Jay Sins. He knows what he is talking about. Take it away, Jay. Thank you, Roboto son, and thank you for allowing me to make a cameo here. I'd just like to say that this. Nikocado, avocado, greasy looking piece of garbage is absolutely lying to everyone. His story changes. He nervously stutters over and over again when trying to recant this story. But we all know, we've seen Cyrax enough times to know that this behavior is definitely indicative of someone who's guilty.